G'day everybody and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build here on speed build fun day speed build Sunday it is Sunday night for me but it will probably it might be Sunday morning for you guys anyway today I thought we'd do another something fairy tale ish so it's not exactly fairy tale um, I don't know how many of you are fans of Lord of the Rings I'm a huge fan I read The Hobbit when I was in high school which is a bit of a long time ago and since then I have been obsessed and today I'm building for you a Hobbit hole now um, in Lord of the Rings in in the Tolkien um, stories the hobbit holes were extensive underground you know almost rabbit warrens and i can't do that for you i can't i mean maybe on a 64 by 64 lot but what i've um, got today is not that big it is a um a budget hobbit hole um i think it ends up being three bedroom three bathroom and um and like all uh, hobbits, the one that lives here is a collector. So it is quite um, quite crowded and, and overstuffed with things. And for a little bit of whimsy, we have a little toadstool house in the background, which is a, well, I guess it counts as another bathroom. So it's a bathroom slash garden shed type of thing. And... Um, a lot of the hobbit holes, we've visited um, Hobbiton in New Zealand, um, just out of a town called Matamata, and all of the hobbit holes are built into hillsides. So I did a little bit of terrain manipulation here so that it looked like it might be in, in a hilly thing, even though the houses close by kind of... Um, don't help that that illusion don't help that immersion but um, this we needed to hide the tin shack so here's my solution this is one of the reeds that you would put yeah sorry I forgot to, oh always forget to put move objects on I'm a shocker um, and sized up and moved so that it doesn't clip into or it's not exactly clipped onto the walls I think it makes a really cute um, looking entrance to the hobbit hole and as you see a little bit later we're going to cover the whole hobbit house or at least the above ground version of it or portion of it I should say with those same reeds so that it looks more like an organic structure rather than one made of tin um, in the books, the hobbit holes are dug, uh, are dug out from, you know, the door inwards and they expand according to the owner's needs. So uh, a, a family of hobbits with a large number of children is likely to have a large hobbit hole. Um, and also those that are wealthier, that have more, air quotes, stuff, is also going to have a larger hobbit hole because they need places to store them. So, um, and I have to apologise for the noise in the background. I have a recalcitrant toddler who's refusing to nap. Um, so we're just going to plough on and uh, ignore that. So anyway, first of all here we are working on uh, a little study. And because we know that hobbits like to keep, uh, they're not very good at it, but they do like to keep records and, um, you know, have important paperwork and, and hang on to old documents and things. So this is our hobbits um, or our potential hobbit owners little study. Uh, this whole thing has been player tested too. So yes, you are able to get to that chair behind that desk from both sides um, uh, quite easily. So. As you can see, this hobbit, he, he, she, they, whatever, has made a point of collecting lots of things. 
and um, you'll see every room is stuffed with objects and items that might be of interest not just to a hobbit but potentially to his family he might have inherited them from you know uncles or parents or you know other um, relatives and um, this external living room I went through a couple of ideas and you'll see I think I changed those again yep yeah. Um, we want something, there we go, I think we go with those ones, um, that looks like it might be perhaps a touch medieval, uh, perhaps a touch old fashioned. Uh, and also, our hobbit, or at least the hobbit that I had in mind for this house, uh, is interested in bringing green things from the outside to the inside. So you will see a lot of perhaps unusually placed uh, plants to complement um, the decor in his particular room or her particular room that they might be in. So you can see um, that uh, this hobbit has lots of things, lots of stuff um, and it's entirely likely that a lot of that stuff and a number of those things are going to be you know an inch deep in dust because they collect them but they don't really do anything with them. So, um, and just a tip for your own builds, you know, it's it's perfectly fine to use the same painting in a grouping and to resize it, you know, up or down to make it a cluster. And that's what I've done with that particular picture there is to put, well, we've moved past it now, but to put three of them there so that um, not only does it tie in the orange from the couches but it also matches the green um, and the greenery that we had in there as well so here we are fighting with these it did take a little bit actually because they want to clip to walls and you have to fight with them a little bit to make them not clip against the walls so um, you know we did have a little bit of a set and there was a few swear words and um, more than a few probably uh, and uh, it did take a little bit of work but overall I am absolutely happy with the way those those upsized reeds look uh, as part of the roof and you will see it at the end anyway so just working on the landscaping and because I'm imagining that it is um, the hobbits live in the countryside even though they have a little village called Hobbiton um, it is uh, a little bit spread out the houses aren't packed on top of each other and there is a lot of farming land and a lot of lushness in between now I don't know if any of you have been to New Zealand but it is very mountainous and here is a pause for effect obviously so you can see the front it is um, very very green and the area where um, the, the 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 property where the uh, the Hobbit ton the Hobbit holes are all built is actually farmland. I do not know why this was paused for so long. Um, clearly, I must have wandered off to get a drink or to yell at someone or you know to check Facebook. You know, so you'll probably be relieved that I was satisfied <laughs> with all of that, and now I'm back. So. As I said, we turn this into a little um, bathroom. So in fact, we have maybe four bathrooms. Um, but again, it's it more feels like a toilet that's been built into a garden shed because lots of the items in here you'd probably expect to find, you know, uh, outside. I think it is absolutely cute. I love the little um, mushroom house. Um, I think it's a, a cute little feature. There is room to expand if you want to go um, add rooms on underground. There is plenty of room. So here we are on our first level below um, the 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 above ground, and we're working on our kitchen now. So hobbits. Hobbitses loves their foods. So a kitchen would be very important to a hobbit. So I imagine that their kitchens would be overstuffed with not just 
um, plates and pots and pans, but with things to cook. Um, and uh, I think they would be, oh my gosh, there goes Discord, um, going off in my ear as we speak. Um, I'm hoping that will, um, oh goodness me, there's a lesson for you. If you're doing a video, turn everything to silent or log out. Um, so I wanted the appearance, and I, see I did originally go with cupboards or, cupboards or the wall cabinets around the top, but I've gone back to shelves because I wanted to show that hobbits are likely to have an overstuffed kitchen. They have containers of all kinds of foods, they have all kinds of things, packets and bottles and cans of things tucked away, not to mention all of the decorative items that they could possibly have. So um, yeah, I absolutely stuff this and even though there's, oh, um, sometimes when I'm building I discover something that I think, oh, that should really go outside. So. I stick it outside while I'm building or it should go in another room so I stick it over there so uh, I apologize for the camera flicking around like that and as you can see I just changed the colors of the jars after I've placed them where I want them um, and I'll do that again in just a second up there so um, you can imagine that a hobbit that has this kitchen um, would absolutely be spending as much time as possible making not just their breakfast and their lunch and their dinner, but you can't forget elevenses, you can't forget second breakfast, and you certainly can't forget early and late dinner as well as supper. I have it on good authority though that that's only when they're dieting. When they're eating normally, um, they eat much more than that. So. Um, we have a sweet little dining room here. Um, even though often hobbits will have, you know, rich hobbits will have um, expansive. Um, oh, <coughs> excuse me. I'm allergic to whatever that is. Um, they might have large and very formal dining areas. This hobbit, I think, I've gone for a much more homey feel, and they kind of like their. Um, their dining to be close to their kitchen so they can go back for seconds or thirds or tenths if they need to. Um, and again, we've bought some some of the plants from the outside in and I think I change out some of these. Um, there you go. More things and documents stuffed under the, the stairs. Uh, and um, you know, a little reading nook perhaps, somewhere to just sit and read a magazine or a book while you're waiting for somebody to cook dinner or maybe for dinner itself to be cooked if you're doing the cooking. And this will be the first of the bedrooms and again overstuffed, lots of things that they have in there. Um, I really had a lot of fun building this. I think it's really cute. I would love to see a Let's Play based around this. I think it would be really, really um, fun and cute and interesting. So if you do use this in your game or if you start a Let's Play um, using this, I would love to hear from you. Um, tell me what you did. Tell me about the Sims that you have living in here because I would absolutely love to hear about it. You can leave your comments in the down there or hit me up on Twitter or on Instagram, which I'm not very active on. Um, or if you like to join the fun, um, my link to my Discord is down there as well. All right, so we are building a bathroom and I think um, using the stuff from Island Living kind of fit the more rustic feel. Um, of this house even though it's not you know it's got wallpaper and um, the the wall panelling on it um, I think it it has a more a feel of it that's less formal because I can't imagine a hobbit um, being you know a hobbit room or a hobbit hole or a hobbit bathroom being formal 
So, but we we have oh, I have continued to use that wallpaper just because I think it adds to the overall feel of you know something a little bit on the the elderly side, something that um, has a bit of history. And it was a bit of a struggle, but I did eventually get these curtains to go where I wanted. Um, I think I had a bit of a pause to have a bit of a swear, thought about it, put a wall in, put the curtains across. And I think that's really cute. As a shower curtain, um, they make a really cute idea. So again, with the island living bed there, looks great in the tropics, but also makes sense in a... Um, in a more traditional style home um, when people used to use you know mosquito netting or whatever or curtains to keep the bugs off their beds and it gave me the opportunity to um, put together a room that was a little bit more um, green toned which I really like um, I'm quite fond of it at the moment but again you know this hobbit whoever he or she is or their family has been collecting stuff for a while as you can see they have um, something in almost on every little bit of floor space and stacked on top of each other and then stacked on top of the stacked on top so um, you know, I, I really had a lot of fun doing this, thinking about um, a hobbit, which they're not magical in and of themselves, but they're, they're kind of magical beings. And, you know, um, they they associate with magical beings. So I would imagine that they would have um, an interest in um, all things magical. But just like... Um, poor old Bilbo did he would try and stay away from that side of those type of people as much as possible while still you know having items tucked away that might you know um, might be considered magical or from magical origins each of the minor bedrooms has a, um, a built-in robe as you can see um, and I am not sure but I think most of them have uh, a little chair in the corner as well and I think that little um, heart icon there really ties the colors of the multicolor of the bedspread in it was a lot of fun putting these together and um, here and again I have player tested all of this so you can get to every part of it but under the stairs here I tuck a cauldron and you can see just quickly there I did downsize it you can absolutely uh, use it uh, get to it to make your mac and cheese if you if your sims are not magical and here we go into the screenshots of our living room and from a couple of different angles our gorgeous little study chock full of important documents for our hobbitses to feel important um, into the kitchen and dining area with all of the greenery that we've bought from the outside into the inside I think this this hobbit or the hobbits that live here really love um, color and love bright and interesting things um, and even though it is an underground house it is not dark or um, you know dull anywhere um, and I just loved doing this build it was so much fun to put together something that was you know a, a fairy tale quality or from uh, a more fairy tale sort of um, origin even though I don't think Lord of the Rings is really considered fairy tale um, we are coming to the end thank you so much for joining me here today on the wilder side um, if you wherever you are today whatever you are doing I hope you have a good one see ya